What's up all you beautiful people? It's Justin here. This is part five of the video series. How I make $200 per day, 95% passively, 365 days per year. In this part, we're gonna go over what my plans are for the future with conducting house hacking experiments. So as of recording this video, it's May 27th, 2021. My intention right now is to list my house for sale in November of 2021, which will be the 26th month of running this experiment in this house. My goal is to capitalize on the tax-free appreciation gains on the house and then make a decision from the following options. My first option after selling this house is I could go and buy two more single family homes assuming i'm able to find those in today's crazy housing market slash climate one house would be a primary residence for myself so i can have my own private house and another as a pure rental for my current room renters this would give me two properties that would likely go up in value and would also put the capital gains from this sale of house to good use my second option is i could buy just one new house and then continue house hacking and bring along my current room renters with me and continue to live the same way as I do right now. This would free up my equity and convert it into cash and also allow me to potentially get an even bigger house with more amenities and selling points, which could potentially allow me to collect more rent Per room. After 12 months, I could open a HELOC on this house, draw some cash out, season it, and buy another house for myself to move into, and I could rent out my room in the previous one, thus turning it into a full-blown rental and collecting a high monthly cash flow. The third option is I could stop house hacking entirely, rent a nice apartment in Arizona or Asia or anywhere on the planet. Since my core businesses are completely online, and then I could put 100% of my focus just on my businesses and my YouTube channel, which does sound like a very fun option to me. However, being an active landlord helps me come up with great content ideas for future YouTube videos regarding real estate investing, and also the returns I make on any real estate I own greatly offsets my income tax bill, which is hard to minimize because my businesses are just obnoxiously profitable. The fourth option is I could simply buy one house as a primary residence, live in it by myself for the first 12 months and then rent out all of the rooms and then go and buy my next house to live in by myself again and just keep repeating this process. This option would allow me to still get the appreciation and tax benefits without me having to do any compromising by sharing the house with others. The fifth option is I could just not sell this house in November of 2021 and do exactly what I had described in option two, which was to simply open a HELOC on this house, draw some cash out, season it, and buy another house for myself to move into, and I could rent out my room in the previous one, thus turning it into a full-blown rental and collecting a high monthly cash flow. And in the new second house, I could just rent those rooms with new people, so both houses are rented, or I could just live in it alone and the excess cash flow from the first house would pay for the second one. The sixth option is becoming a monk, moving to a monastery, and forgetting about money, real estate, and YouTube. <laughs> nice. Just kidding. On that note, please take a second to spank or smash or violently click that like button for La Algorithma de YouTube. I just made up that word. <laughs> So I have five solid options and how I decide what to do should be based on what has the most value to me right now as a human. And my beliefs about whether or not continuing to buy houses and rent rooms leaves me feeling like I am making progress towards something and doing something relevant and making me feel fulfilled. Renting rooms in my experience has led to more financial growth, especially because of the pace at which single family homes in Arizona are accelerating upward in value at this current time. So having my name on as many titles as possible seems to be a reliable way to increase my net worth, especially since I am very comfortable and confident being able to get other people to pay for the mortgages for me. By the way, time waits for no man. Except Chuck Norris. By the way, if you've enjoyed this video, you might fall head over heels in love with the Aware Consulting Program over at awareproductions.com. You can sign up for a 14 day free trial and see for yourself. It'll help you decide which business model to start out with, which niche to start out with, how to design your own offer, which includes your product or service to make and sell with a good message. So you can start making money at a light speed pace and a whole lot more. Back to 
the video. All in all, I think house hacking is a great long-term strategy to increase your net worth automatically. One of the best ways to leverage this strategy is to specifically focus on buying a house that's likely to go up in value very fast so you can get the highest returns in the shortest period of time. To do that, you should research which cities in your country are having a population increase as of shooting this video. I believe Phoenix, Arizona is in the top four. And I believe Austin, Texas is number one for the United States. The more people entering into a state and city, the less houses will be available to buy or rent. This is just simply supply and demand. And when you own houses near an area where big private or publicly traded companies are building new buildings, which require employees to work at, you'll know you're on the right track to invest in real estate in that area. Where jobs are being created and where the population is increasing rapidly, is normally the best place to buy real estate, the majority of the time, in my experience and in my opinion. I also recommend you aim to buy a house that has a lot of clear selling points to it, so that if you wish to sell it after 24 months to experience tax-free capital gains, it's easy to create demand for it simply by taking photos of it and listing it for sale. Some examples of selling points in my current house are grand entryway with 18 foot ceilings, large windows everywhere, huge 11,000 square foot backyard located in a calm and quiet and private cul-de-sac. And the layout is very visually appealing. It's open, feels spacious, and has lots of bathrooms, lots of bedrooms, large common areas, and high ceilings everywhere. The bedroom ceilings are nine foot from the floor, and part of the common area ceilings are 18 foot from the floor. My current house meets all of this criteria that we just covered in terms of a fast growing city with lots of jobs being created, which is why I believe I will likely take a 180,000 to 220,000 capital gain completely tax free later on in this year when I sell, perhaps in about six to eight months from right now. And when that happens, I'll make a YouTube video with that headline, something like how I made $180,000 in one day after taxes. That sounds like an intention grabber. And if you're watching this video right now and it's November of 2021 or after, look for that video on the channel as I'll probably published it by then. And that officially wraps up the five part house hacking series and how I make $200 per day, 365 days per year, 95% passively. I'll link the next video I recommend you watch right here in the end screen. In this one, I'll go over some pointers on how you can get your own real estate license fast and how to decide which brokerage to activate it with. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to not so calmly give that like button, the people's elbow, or the rock bottom, whichever you prefer. Nice. And subscribe to the channel, and also hit the bell to turn on the notifications to get a reminder each time I create and upload a new video. You, the rock star. I'll see you on the next video, my friend. Bye for now.